So what I've been doing with you guys, this is part two of my Skin So Soft uh, broadcast where I tell you guys how to have soft skin. So today I'm going to tell you how you can have soft hands and feet. Part one was how to have just soft skin overall and how to minimize the appearance of cellulite. So if you missed that one, go back to part one so you can check that out as well. So here are the items that I need for you guys to write down that I'm going to discuss today. Again, we always have the Body Shop Mango Body Butter. This is like life for me. <laughs> I have this for everything on my body. Next, I want you to write down Skin So Soft by Avon. Again, another product that I use every single day. Write that one down as well. It's called Sin Skin So Soft. It's very popular. You guys have probably seen this before, but it's very popular. It's one of their most popular items. This right here is like a bath oil. I use this as a topical to make sure I put it on top of my lotion. I use it before I get out of the shower as well. Next thing we're gonna have is you want some softening um, footies for your feet. Softening footies for your feet as well as softening gloves for your hands all right you can get this from anywhere bath and body shop you can get it from um bed bath and beyond pretty much target walmart everyone has these type of softening gloves and softening mittens for your feet next i want you to write down pumice mr pumice bar you guys have seen these at the nail shop before they use this on your feet or they may use a razor on your feet this right here is what's going to be the secret to getting your feet and your hands extra, extra soft and making sure that you get rid of any type of scaling, dry skin, um, cracked skin, those type of things. This right here, this pumice bar is what's going to give you a whole lot of life. So what I, what I want you guys to do is you want to purchase these items and when you're in the shower, I want you to use this pumice, okay? You just, and it feels, it feels kind of weird. It feels kind of weird at first, but that's okay. You want to use this pumice while you're in the shower, and you can just rub it on your hands, rub it across if you have any type of, um, of uh, dry skin areas in your hand there. Just rub in there really, really good. Rub around in your hands. Your feet, your feet, oh my gosh. You want to make sure you get your feet really good. Get the back of the heels. Get up under your feet. Do not go so much on top of your feet because this item is very, very abrasive and it will um, damage your skin. It will cause you to have a scrape or it feels like there's a rash. Um, if you scrape over, you will get um, a scar. So do not go on the top part of your skin. This is only for the very, very rough parts of your body that can actually take this type of mechanism on your skin. So just do the bottom of your feet and on top of your hands. Once you do this in the shower, do it every day. It will definitely get rid of any type of um, dead skin, any type of, uh, you know, corns, that kind of thing. It will definitely, definitely get that skin, that dry skin off of there immediately. First day you use this, trust me, you are going to always use this. And you won't need the razor as much when you get to the nail shops for a pedicure. You won't need it because you will have already done your home remedies. So that way you will have soft hands and feet. So once you get out of the shower from using your pumice bar, once you get out from using that, I want you to take your body butter and rub it all over your feet, put it all over your hands. Again, this is when you're getting ready to get into the bed where you don't have anything else to do where you need your hands and feet. So, but you wanna put this body butter on very, very, be very, very heavy with this because it's gonna soak in in your feet overnight. Put this on your hands and feet, and then I want you to put on the softening booties i want you to put those on your feet not sexy maybe not if you're not a type of person that goes to bed with any type of socks on okay you're gonna have to do this <laughs> you're gonna have to just make a little sacrifice sacrifice and just actually do this a couple times a week if you can't do it every day but put this on your feet after you put the body butter on if you want to spray some more skin so soft on top of your lotion you can definitely do that i just take it and put it in a spray bottle so that way it's easier to come out so I'm actually not just pouring out too much product that's unnecessary. So I put it in a spray bottle. Then you can do that with your gloves as well. Put the lotion on your hands, get all in your cuticles, leave it kind of thick, and then put the gloves on and go to bed. Then your hands are softening overnight. 
All of these products, I'm telling you, when I did this broadcast on Periscope and Facebook Live, everyone went crazy over it. Guys were doing it. <laughs> they were saying it was awesome because, again, if they're not the type to go to get a pedicure, they felt like this Pumas bar was actually the best thing for them, that they could do it at home and secretly have nice feet without having to go to the, uh, the nail shop or a spa to actually get that type of result. So these are products, again, people, that I love. I totally love all of these products. Again, this is um, Mr. Pumas. And then they're all tagged. They're all, um, all the products are tagged. Anything you need to know, if you guys have questions for me, please check me out on my website at danasimonestoval.com. I will answer any questions for you. If you are not following me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, I'm on all social media. Please do so. I am at Show Dana on Twitter and on Periscope as well. And my TV talk show is The Dana Simone Show on Facebook. So you guys, please follow me. Check me out for the, ne the next YouTube broadcast. I appreciate it.